samples and have a look at them in your house. Then if you let me know what you finally decide, we'll give you a detailed estimate to include making up and laying. Ah, very good. Now, about measuring up, would Saturday suit you? Yes, Saturday would be quite all right. Very well, then, we'll send our man Randall Saturday morning. I'm not really there, man. You see, most shops put out carpet measurement and laying. It's a good plan. And firms like the one I work for get some pretty varied jobs. New houses, old ones, hotels, cinemas, restaurants, or even ships. I spend my time measuring, laying, sorting out snags. For when you've worked at it for 15 years or so, as I have, you begin to learn quite a bit about carpets and about the problems of the people who buy them. Most women think first of colour and pattern. I'm still not quite sure about this hall. I like this colour, but Frank, uh, he's my fiancé, prefers the dark one. Don't you think it'll make this hall look rather tiny? Well, you're right in principle, of course. And dark carpets do make small rooms look smaller. I think the biggest problem with hallways is footmarks. And what about this one? It's still light enough to give size, and it won't show the dirt as much as a very pale one would. Hey, it's good quality, too. Halls get a lot of wear, you know, and since they are small, it doesn't take a lot of carpet to cover them. So it's worthwhile getting the best quality you can afford. Hmm, I expect you're right. But I'll think about it. Oh, I suppose you want to know for the estimate. No, no, I'll put down all the measurements, and then they can let you have an alternative estimate for each sample. I don't think you'll find it makes much difference to the price. No, you want the same carpet on the stairs, do you? Oh, yes. Well, I'll come back and measure those at the end. On the whole, Miss Cook seemed to know what she was doing. I think she'd had to budget pretty carefully, like most people. But she'd taken the salesman's advice and gone for the best quality she could afford here in the living room. Now, upstairs in the bedroom, she'd saved a bit on quality. There was one thing, though. Well, what sort of underlay have you decided on? Oh, I hadn't really thought. Does it matter a lot? Well, it was natural, I suppose. Your friends don't see what goes on under the carpet, so you try and save a bit there. Believe me, it doesn't pay. I sometimes wonder if the shops aren't a bit to blame. Frightened, perhaps, of losing a sale? I don't think they would, though, if they explained properly what a good underlay does. You know, the right underlay adds years to the life of any carpet and makes it feel better to walk on. Now, here on the stairs, underlay is doubly important. If you take my advice, you'll have Duralay stair pads here. There's nothing like them to cut down on wear and noise. Mm, I suppose you're right. Will they be very expensive? Oh, well, they're very cheap, really, considering how good they are. Anyway, you'll be getting the estimate in a few days, and you can make your final decision then. And so, on to my next port of call. Now, oh, this looks like it. Chipping Manor. A new fitted carpet they want here. It doesn't look as though they have to worry too much about costs. It certainly needed renewing. I was interested to see what had been put down underneath. Of course, there's always a lot of wear at the main doorway, but this was really excessive for a good quality carpet like this one. I thought so. The cheapest type of poor felt underlay. It treads down till it's nearly as thin as a sheet of newspaper and about as useless. I'm afraid there isn't much you can do about that, you know, sir. I didn't expect there would be. As I told him at the shop, it'll leave a new carpet. Hasn't been down all that long, either. No, I don't think you can blame the carpet. I don't know what the world's coming to. Craftsmanship, that's what we want. Now, look at that. Handmade, that is. You wouldn't find that wearing. I'm afraid you would, you know, sir, if it had been down on that sort of underlay. It's a fine piece of carpet, this, Wilton. If you don't mind my saying so, it's criminal to put it down on a poor quality felt. You really think so? Well, perhaps you're right. We'll have to do better next time, eh? I don't know, sir, what sort of underlay you've asked for. Oh, I don't know. It's carpets I'm interested in. Now, what do you think of that? Well, I can't say I'm much of an expert on Orientals. It's a Farragan, isn't it? Oh, Joe, right first time. Yes, it is a Farragan. So you think the underlay is the trouble? Well, what do you suggest? Why, well, that Dura laser. Foam rubber with a good, strong Hessian backing. It would have saved you that sort of trouble. And it improves the feel of the carpet beyond all proportion. Mm -hmm. Dura eh? Well, note it down, young man. Now, 
Hadn't you better get on with the measuring? Yes, sir. Mm, it was a bit of luck, that. I was telling the truth when I said I'm no expert on Orientals, but I'd seen a rug like that only a few days before and been told it was a Farragon. I thought I got away with it. You're interested in Oriental rugs, are you? Well, to tell you the truth, sir. Well, I had to own up, of course. But he took it very well. It's not too difficult to recognize the main types, you know. Now, if I give you a few tips, you won't have to rely on luck the next time, eh? These are typical Persian carpets. The Persian weavers love to adapt patterns from the nature around them. Flowers, trees, animals and birds. Sometimes lifelike, sometimes a free pictorial interpretation, but always beautiful and easily recognizable as the ancient art of Persia. These are Caucasian rugs with their typical geometric patterns. Look, here's a geometric rendering of a flower. This is a, a camel, I think, stylized, of course. Symmetry, bold designs and vivid colors. These are the hallmarks of Caucasian rugs. The rusty red colors of these rugs strongly indicates their Turkestan origin. This inexpensive Baluchistani, or this Afghan, or this, the famous finely knotted Bakhara, all share a similar panel or elephant's foot design. Every oriental rug has a character of its own, an individuality, all are handmade. But how can you tell if it's hand knotted? First, look for the knots and see if you can find them at the base of each tuft of pile. Then, look at the back. See the pattern quite clearly? That's because the knots come right the way through. You can tell it's hand woven. Every oriental reflects the heritage and culture of the district from which it comes. Kashan, Kamar, Tabriz, Tefan. Well, like all experts, he was becoming carried away with his subject. I thought I'd never get home to dinner. Fascinating, though, those names. Bahara, Kazakh. Well, I never got the chance to tell him about the Wiltons and Axe Ministers that I work with mostly. Machine made, but none the worse for that. They're tougher wearing and in their own way just as beautiful, I think. Anyway, I was brought back to earth with a bump as soon as I got home. Really, you do the most stupid things. Whatever possessed you to give a child a five a fountain pen of all things? He's been a perfect pest all day, squirting it all over the place. Just look what he's done to my carpet. Well, there's not too much damage done. Look, get me the methylated spirits and a little vinegar, will you? Oh, and some water and detergent. I'll have to make the carpet up and go and get me tools. So long as carpet stains are tackled quickly, you can usually avoid any mark showing at all. There you are. Can I help you with it? No, that's all right, love. You get the tea, will you? I'm starving. All right. Well, I'll leave you to it. Now, with red ink, the best thing to use is methylated spirit. A few drops of white vinegar makes the meths even more effective. The mixture attacks the stain at once and does no harm to the carpet dye. Well, then you'll need to wash the area of the stain very thoroughly with a detergent and warm water. Once you've got the mark out, it's as well to lift the carpet and hang it over a chair or something to dry. Oh, that's the jewel I was talking about, remember? Now, yeah, you wouldn't think that carpet was ten years old, would you? And that's the reason why. Very helpful, the makers of Duralay are. They publish a little booklet. It's full of interesting information, hints on choosing carpets, how to lay them, how to look after them, how to clean them. In fact, I've got the way to treat red ink stains out of this booklet. Yeah, here we are. Typical of the Duralay people, this is. You get the feeling that they really are interested in their customers. I like the way they package their stuff, too.
Mind you, these are just details. But the real reason I recommend Duralay is because I know it's a good product and it does a good job. I was glad young Miss Cook had listened to my advice. These ready-cut pads in standard sizes are just the job. This stuff really cushions the carpet where feet come down hard. Well, that's what takes the stuffing out of carpets, you know. This Duralay takes the shock. It adds years to the life of stair carpet, it does. It cuts down noise, too. Now, that's something you need on stairs almost more than anywhere else. Makes the carpet feel right, too. Well, I could see Miss Cook and her fiancé were pleased with the result, but to tell you the truth, I was a bit surprised when the shop had asked me to lay carpets in the hall and stairs only. They told me why. The estimate for the whole job was a little more than we bargained for. It's this underlay you suggested. We could see why we had to have it here in the hall, what with all that noise and wear and what have you, but after all, this is a new house, good floors. I don't see why we have to have any underlay at all. I mean, is it really necessary? You know, I'm always being asked that. The first thing is, you've got to understand why a carpet wears. I suppose most people think the pile gets rubbed away here, at the top. Ah, oh, but it doesn't. Now, if you look at the edge here, you'll see how a carpet's made. The tufts which make up the piles run over a thread at the backing, and they're held in place by these threads running the other way. The tufts are made up of lots of very fine fibres, you see. Now, it's here on the underside of the carpet that the damage is done. Now, if you sandwich the tufts between a shoe and a hard, unyielding floor, some of the fibres will tend to snap. Not the whole tuft, of course, just one or two fibres, and they'll come out and be swept away. In a remarkably short time, you'll have this. Bare patches where the tufts have come to bits, as it were. And, of course, it happens first where you tread most on the carpet. Now you can see what an underlay is for. Its job is to cushion the carpet where it's pressed against the floor. The fibres don't break and your carpet doesn't show wear. Yes, I can see that, but isn't there something really cheap that will do the job? Well, it depends what you mean by cheap. Now, this is an example of a very low-priced felt. Now, it doesn't cost much in outlay, and when it's brand new, it does a reasonable job. The trouble with cheap felt is that in as little as a few months, this happens. It treads down to a thin, hard layer, almost useless. And, of course, it happens just where you tread most. So, again, you'd get wear and you'd have to replace your carpet. And that costs a lot more than the underlay. Not really cheap, is it? I see. Well, it does really look as if we're going to have to have something. And you think this Duralay is the best answer? Well, I do, really. It only costs a little more than ordinary felt, but its cushioning effect lasts forever. On top of that, it's got lots of other advantages. Now, I notice you're wearing high heels, Miss. Now, you may not know this. Oh, I hope you won't think I'm being rude. But when you've got those things on, you're putting more weight per square inch on the floor than a fully grown elephant. Well, you see, Miss, the elephant spreads his weight over a big area. Now, the high heels don't. Now, Duralay spreads the load like this. And then there's sound insulation. Now, that's quite important, you know, because in most of these modern houses, the ceilings are hollow. Now, as you probably know, rubber and air are two of the best sound insulating materials there are. And Duralay is made of rubber and air. Then there's the feel of it. Whatever your carpet, Duralay gives it that extra luxurious tread. It well, not only doubles the life, it doubles the luxury, too. I saw some other rubber underlays at the shop. Some of them seem softer. Yes, that's true, but you don't want to get one too soft, you know, or it won't give enough support. Now, remember your high heels, miss. No, by and large, I think Duralay has the right balance between firmness and luxury. Duralay, you know, is made from the same high-quality rubber as motor car tyres. Now, if you think of the way they cushion road shocks, you'll realise it must be the right material to cushion and protect your carpets. You know, when people ask me, I find myself recommending Duralay because I think it's good stuff. So it's nice to know it's not difficult to get. 24 hours a day, the Duralay factories are turning it out. Modern equipment and up-to-date methods of quality control see to it that the rubber on every yard is cured to the same high standard. In their laboratories, I'm told, they test continuously at every stage. Well, they've got to. Duralay are a big firm with a big reputation to keep up. They have warehouses like this placed all over the country. Now, you might wonder why this is important to the average customer. But you see, it means that all kinds of Duralay, rolls, broad looms, squares, or stair pads, can be loaded into vans for fast delivery to wholesalers everywhere. Because of this service, 
No good carpet and furnishing shop need ever be short of supplies. Wherever you live, you can get Duralay and get it quickly, delivered to your door. I must have laid thousands of yards of it. And there's a lot of satisfaction in knowing that you're recommending something that does a really first-class job in every way. Well, they took my advice and laid Duralay right through the house. I'm glad they did, because they'd spent quite a bit on their carpets. And I know they're now going to get real lifetime protection for them. <laughs>